Okay, good morning to everyone. Can I encourage you to please take your seats? Thank you very much. So we move now to the second session of this morning. And if you haven't had a chance to look at the program, the title of it is, and I read to you the title, is a new world economic order still conceivable in the foreseeable future? That's what we're going to discuss. <laughs> and before I get into the substance of it with our esteemed panelists here, I'd like to make two observations to get us started. The first is that, in fact, we've already been discussing this topic in the first session, because it's very hard today to discuss the economic outlook without talking about changes in the structure of international relations and the, what that means for economics. And we already got a few insights from that session, which will play into the conversation we have here. And the second point I want to make uh, before we start is that in a way, the question itself, is a new world economic order conceivable in the foreseeable future, begs another question, which is, is the current international economic order a stable one? In fact, you could argue that every year as we meet, the international economic order is already changing. It is already fraying. So the question is not whether we can conceive of a new world international economic order, but whether how we cope with the pressures and changes that are happening, sometimes in a not very orderly way. And perhaps we might be moving from an international economic order to a period of international economic disorder during which countries will conduct their relationships without the same set of rules that has governed those relationships for six, seven decades. And so those are kind of the questions that we would like to uh, get into today. 